Thank you for choosing this video. Here we're looking at our reference IQ plot of a 16 quam signal. If I turn on amplitude imbalance, clearly we can see the distortion on the IQ plot. If I introduce uh, DC offset, we can see that the IQ plot is no longer centered around the zero, zero point. Phase imbalance leads to the IQ plot being skewed, as indicated by the red points. Phase noise manifests itself in the IQ plot as jitter, as can be seen here by the magenta points. Taking the uh, 16 quam signal and passing it through an amplifier and driving the amplifier. Uh, near compression results in the IQ plot also being compressed. And uh, the black points here uh, clearly indicate the distortion due to the AM to AM characteristics of the power amplifier. If we turn on all impairments, it's hard to distinguish what is distorting the IQ plot, but clearly we can see there's a DC offset and some phase noise. The system used to introduce the RF impairments is shown here. We have a 16 quam source. Uh, one model that is mathematically introducing phase imbalance and amplitude imbalance as well as DC offset on the baseband signal. The phase noise model is used to uh, read in a data file that consists of two columns of information, the first column being offset from carrier, and the second column uh, indicating the DBC values. The last model in the RF link is the nonlinear simulation-based model, and that is used to uh, represent or simulate power amplifier, and the receiver model is used to uh, determine the incoming symbols and uh, we're making the IQ plot directly off the receiver's output. You can find the uh, models that are used in the system diagram in the Elements browser under System Blocks, expanding the Channels node and going into the subnode Phase Noise, you'll find the Phase Noise channel model. Under RF Blocks, Amplifiers, simulation based, you'll find the nonlinear simulation based model. This model references an actual circuit designed in Microwave Office. Under XML libraries, uh, some node RF blocks, some node imbalance block, you'll find the input imbalance block. And once again, this model is used to mathematically introduce amplitude imbalance, phase imbalance, as well as DC offset directly onto the baseband signal. If you have any further questions about VSS, please do not hesitate to contact us. And I hope you take the time to look at the other VSS videos that are available at AWR TV. Once again, thank you very much.